Yeah, we're rolling. Today has been brain busted. Don't worry, they're not. No, these are fun. This is just going to be about like uh, our past, <laughs> our future. <laughs> You have launched yourself into like contemporary Degrassi. You're working at the dot. Mm -hmm. Spinner comes and works at the dot. Mm -hmm. Is that weird? Um, well, <laughs> thing is, uh, I do, um, in some of my spare time, I've been known to um, do a little restaurant work myself. So it was funny to get, uh, to go, hey, I'm doing a cameo on Degrassi, and then go back, okay, hey, could you just throw on your apron, please? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Sure, this feels <laughs> comfortable. Well, I was I thinking the other day when we had all first met, I mean, I had met you guys in 2002. Mm -hmm. You had met Lauren and, you know, um, no, I guess it was just been... Uh, Lauren, like season Jake, one Jake came in, Jake, Stacy, and uh, you came in season two. I was there with Lauren. So we would have known each other now for like well over a decade. Oh yeah, we're a decade and a half. And the thing close. I always feel a little bit jealous about is that I was never a part of season one, actually. It's like I never... I just feel like I missed it. What happened in season one? Is there something like I really missed? It was all set up for Marco's entry. That's really. what I'm saying. I'm really jealous I wasn't yeah, there. I know. And, and, but you just know that you were in mind. Everything that we did was Thank laying you. the groundwork Thank for you. Marco's character and really story. I appreciate that you felt my spirit. Hey, you know what, buddy? You were there for You me. were in our mind long before we were on yours. So what, do you remember what my, our first scene was? Well, it wasn't together, but do you remember when you first like saw Marco? What did I have to do? Was really it just stupid? love at first sight? It was. And I was doing something really silly. Oh, were you dancing? I had were to like break dance so yeah, that I could yeah, win yeah, tickets yeah, yeah. Yes, to something. Yes, 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 and yes, I yes, beat yes. you and Wheelchair Jimmy. Oh, to, but he wasn't in a wheelchair. Was it? And it was hosted by Mad Dog and Billy. Was yeah, it not? Mad yeah. Dog and Billy. Yeah, and I was wearing that like, like acid wash. Um, yeah, because like, it was the oh, 80s God. dance. Yeah. So you were Vanilla Ice. Yes. Uh, Aubrey was uh, Michael Jackson. Was he Michael Jackson? Yes, he was. He, he played had, like, Michael Jackson a little, couple times yeah, on the yeah, show. Yeah, he did. did he killed know? it because he yeah. could do the moonwalk. Yeah. Um, question about Wheelchair Jimmy. How do you feel being personally responsible for that? <laughs> uh, you know what? I think uh, I think he's doing all right, so I don't care anymore. You know what? Like, I'm Spinner over. is responsible for why Wheelchair Jimmy exists. Yes. But out of that came Drake, and I don't think anyone feels that he got the short end of any stick. Except the fact that he was in a wheelchair for the rest of the series. He got to sit down. <laughs> oh my god. He got to sit, no, okay. I, <laughs> if we're being honest, no, I don't feel, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, it was a part uh, being responsible for it, no, 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 no. Uh, and we got the joke part out. Now let's get serious for a sec. Uh, that, I do, it's, I'm responsible for it, but it's almost like I, I would always have to correct people. They would be like, ah, so like, how do you, like, you got, you got your best friend shot. You got Jimmy shot. I'm like, no, I, I, but yeah, but like I indirectly, like I set off yeah. a chain of events. They're like, no, but this is the guy that shot Jimmy. I'm like, no, but so I didn't actually. people think that like you're the one who shot Jimmy? Cause like you did it. Yeah, I know. That was Rick. Right, that was Rick, yeah, but yeah. it was so, like, it's so long ago, and, like, you know how you can distort the own yeah, yeah, yeah. facts in, in your You were just the one that punked Rick. Well, Spinner yeah. punks Rick. Well, uh, Jay and Spinner, Spinner. set up the, yeah, uh, yeah. like, the Jay was tar a and very bad influence on Spinner. Very bad, very bad. And in those days, yeah. in those days, yes. And then, and then we saw Rick in the bathroom after, after Paige talked yeah. him down. And I don't remember all these details. In an earlier interview today, I was reminded of a lot of these. So if you're very impressed with my I am memory, very impressed because I have no memory other than you it's, are it's me remembering what I had just been forced to remember like an hour ago. So that's perfect. Really I got you at the perfect time. Yes, sir. Scoozy. Woo. Um, so, like, so many things happen to Spinner. Yes. You're like a really fantastic character, dude, because you had so many diverse things. We're like, I'm really to... grateful for my character, and I had a lot of like challenges, but it was kind of within the same concept. You know, you had this whole shooting situation, uh, the challenge of playing that. You had um, the challenge of dating, like playing a boyfriend of a girl who gets sexually assaulted, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you also had the cancer storyline, which to me I thought was like such a cool storyline for you to get at that point in Spinner's like legacy. Because usually at that point the characters start to taper off, but yours kind of had this incredible resurgence um, that you killed that episode and you got like, you got nominated for Gemini. Mm -hmm. What was the experience of that? When you got that, uh, um, that script and you're like, what was your thought and how did you prep for that? Well, first of all, thank you for all you're the welcome. compliments. Um, 
So I, I remember I knew there was something big on the horizon because I, I was called into Linda Schuyler's office um, pre... Called into mom's office. Yeah. Uh, Shit's pre, going down. <laughs> Pre-read through. And I had heard stories of this before. It's like, oh yes, I, I met with Linda and she told me I have something really big. Or I met with Linda and she told me I'm off the show. And <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this could either be really good or really bad. But I, I knew, like I had heard rumors there was a big storyline coming up. So I knew when I, I had to meet with Linda first that she was just going to be uh, prepping me for it and let it, letting me know exactly what to expect. And she told me, um, and I, I was very grateful that uh, I was the, the character that they picked, uh, that they gave that opportunity to. And then she also said, and uh, you're gonna have to shave your head. Shave my head? I was like, yeah. Um, there's gonna be a scene like where you're, you're gonna, like you know that you're gonna have to go through chemo and you're, you're, you're gonna have to shave your head. Are you willing to do that? And I'm like, be like Natalie Portman and be for Vendetta? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I was, I was really excited. There, there were a couple moments where I'm like, oh man, do I really have the balls? Like I've never seen my head shaved Interesting before. Interesting choice of words. <laughs> oh. I, um... No, but I, I didn't know if I had like some, like a birthmark in the shape of Russia, like on, <laughs> on the, like the back of my it's head. It's like the like, Degrassi Panther mascot. Yeah, it's like, how did it, he was born for this show. But I just, I didn't know. Um, so that, that was the most nerve wracking part. But then I remember after I shaved my head, yeah. um, it, I just, I got so many compliments on the, how I looked with a shaved head. And I, I realized then that that means so much more than complimenting a hairstyle because hair comes and goes, styles change, and day to day they change. Um, you can't, when someone compliments the shape of your skull, you're like, that's, that that's genetic. That's when you thank your mom. That's, that's when, when you, you thank say, your mom. you say, mom, you did a great exactly, job. Exactly, great exactly, job. Exactly, which is what How was that final scene when you actually had to buzz it? Because that's a one take wonder situation there, you know? It's like yeah. you're not going again. Um, and they, I remember they let the cameras go because they, they wanted to see how, how close, uh, or sorry, they w just wanted to extend it and like really get it at every different angle. And I remember I started going back so far that um, I think her name was uh, Josie, our, our hairdresser at that point, was like sitting by the monitors going like, because they had a to turn it. To the left. No, they had to do it. Uh, they had to make sure that it was okay for a mohawk at the end, so I couldn't. But apparently, I, I was going back, but when I went around far. back, I was going f too far to the center, and I almost ruined what would have been the back of the mohawk. So I remember she was, she told me later that she was like, <laughs> Don't get cut! Uh, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no. So so that was a lot of fun, and yeah, no. The storyline uh, itself, like the the prep, that I did more prep for that episode than anything else. Well, it, it was it was like your biggest. Man. Yeah, that was like a huge opportunity for you. Yeah, you know, and, and you, like I said, you really nailed it. Well, thanks. I um, wanted to do it justice. It was a very very serious storyline. Like I, so I didn't want to just um, half ass it. And I, I looked. I watched videos of, of people who had been through. Uh, testicular cancer and and what like their initial reaction and and then at the period where they became okay with it how they felt what the pain was like and then I did a lot of research on like the symptoms of what you're supposed to feel because I wanted it to be as uh, pay as much of uh, an homage to like the the truth of it and, and to not just have it be like a can't be Hollywood version of it. So. Um, okay, another. Uh Quick question that I, I just really need to know about because I just still don't know if I buy it. Do we buy Spinner marrying Emma? Do we buy I'm glad it? Someone asked. Just we can, let's asked. just tell the truth now. Listen, it's not they're not always winners on the show. I'm not sure if I fully ever have bought that. Okay, so I need to I need to give credit. To, it's hard for me to tear it apart because it was my swan song episode. Yes. Right? Like I can't say like, oh, the way that they ended Spinner's legacy. Or like you know, preserved him. Was it not really realistic or true to anything that happened before? I remember everyone's reaction at the read through. Was just it like, like what? what? But they've never like they don't. There was never anything over nine years. But um, I still I still think that Spinner should have ended up with Jane. You should. Have, yeah. Okay. So she not screwed page. someone for a little while. But you know, maybe he they could have come to an agreement that then he was allowed to have. 
threesomes whenever he wants. Well, because I was talking to Paula and she was saying, you know, I was pissed for Jane because like I'd been there through all of this drama, all of his health scare, I've been through the whole time, then he goes ahead and marries Emma. Well, way to go. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. But it was Fair. actually, 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 when you when you think of it, that scene um, where uh, Spinner was in the tent before he went out for the wedding, um, and Jane comes in, and they have that last little uh, nice moment where they kind of there's some closure to the to the breakup, and then she's like, "Go out there, get married, get married." If she would have come in and said, "Like Spinner, I'm I'm really sorry and apologize," I still think. I still think there might have been hope for them. Yeah. Maybe not that day, but like as soon as Spinner realized that Emma was not the one. Serious rebound. Well, maybe that's happened out in the universe again. Right, right. Maybe but Jane and Spinner really, are it's together. it's Jane's fault. It, it, she gave up. She drove back from New York all the way back. She's pissed. He's still and pissed. she gave up. She gave up still right pissed. in front of it. <laughs> she gave 99.9%. Had rest? she given 100, maybe... <laughs> All right, spinner, spinner trivia. What was the, this is gonna be easy. You're gonna kill it. You're good at this stuff. What is uh, the name of spinner? What was the name of spinner's half sister? No. What was the name of spinner's adopted sister? Kendra. Killed it. How many girlfriends did spinner have on the show? Jesus, you were such a man whore. Yeah. How many spinners have? Uh, okay. And you dated Manny. You dated Paige. You dated Darcy. You dated. Um, that's three. How many are left? Two. Should be so easy for you, man. Emma, you married one. Yeah. Oh, and Jane. There you go. I am awesome. No, 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 Honestly, no. dude, I'm just like so awesome to see you. It seems so bizarre when, I, too, when we got buddy. called to set today. It's surreal. Yeah, you were just, like, we need a Domo and Shane to set, just like old times. Yeah, and then Lauren Collins and Stacey Farr were hanging out in the I know, back I'm with Jake Epstein. Yeah. What's going on here? I don't know. Maybe they're all just going to, you know, it's just like old times. Although I haven't got rid of Stacey and Lauren. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. They're still on, like, just... I got rid of all of them. Yeah. Man, let Lucky. me tell you. <laughs> it's been a good life. <laughs> all right, peace. We're going to go hang. All right.